What's going on guys? It is Michael here from GBU. We are back again with another custom blaster video. This time around, we have gone ahead and continued on with the Battle Arms Defense Receiver line. Now, the first one that we did would be the gray one, which was just a couple of videos ago. So if you wanna go check that one out, definitely jump back, go have a look. This time around, we have the skeletonized version, but in a purple colorway. So this is what I give you guys, is the skeletonized Battle Arms Receiver so this one is 7075 aluminium in a nice anodized purple. So starting at the front, we have our KSC suppressor with a riser hop-up tucked inside. We have a very nice high quality nylon Gazelle Works handguard, which is MLOC. We do have an alloy finger stop. We have a Battle Works, Battle Arms Defense, outer barrel, and then the star of the show, which just so happens to be this absolutely beautiful purple skeletonized receiver by Battle Arms Defense. Now inside of this one today we do have a we do have a 7075 aluminium V2 split gearbox running full SHS internals. So that consists of your 18 or 1 gears, your piston, your reverse latch, absolutely everything. You got a very nice iodized cylinder. We've got all of our strike industries parts. We've got our mag release, we've got our bolt catch we got a fire select again. Um, now we do have a very nice stylized grip which is molded as such. So it's got a very nice grip. You ain't going nowhere with that bad boy. Um, on the back side again we have a Daniel Defense stock with an X Power and buffer tube as well. Then on top we do have a Sig Sauer Romeo scope. We have a nice little mini SLR magazine and then inside of the grip we have an SHS high torque mover. So with this particular build, we did go a slower speed um, compared to our normal builds, which are quite fast. Now, the idea behind that was, was to try and gain a bit more FPS um, and a bit more distance as well. So we're trying to push that 30 to 35 meter range, which is really good. So obviously once it hits that 30 to 35 meters, you still need it to kind of have power behind it. Otherwise it kind of just feels like it's like a little flick or anything like that. So we don't want that, we want something to punch and you definitely feel it. We did try it again and keep this build very tight and compact, hence why the mini SLR magazine. Now obviously it does work with your standard magazine as well, it doesn't matter, um, but if you want to keep this thing nice, short and tight like so, definitely keep your little mini SLR magazine. Now inside of this gearbox is a big R MOSFET which is fully programmable. It is an optical MOSFET, so which means you can actually tune it so it has semi full auto. You can do a two round burst, three round burst, so forth. You can do binary. But again, as I said in a previous video when we did the silver build, I highly don't recommend doing binary. Binary puts a lot of stress on the MOSFET and the internals of the actual gearbox as well because stop, start, stop, start, and you can't necessarily control it as well because the second you pull that trigger, the second you let go of that trigger, it's gotta shoot again. So we're gonna jump over to the firing range. We're gonna even sing a couple of slaps. We'll see how she performs and we'll be back. Here we are guys, we are in semi, so let's give this thing a couple of slaps. Switch it to full auto. So as you can see guys, this thing is shooting rather consistently, somewhat accurate, decent power behind it as well. So when it's hitting that back wall, it's actually slapping, which is amazing to see and hear. Now, if this is something that you'd like, it is online right now as I speak. Otherwise, come on down and see us at 7 18 Bailey Crescent in South Portland, Gold Coast. Peace out.